are you planning to soar in 2024? Hey, it's your girl, Sherry Summer Bell, and I want to share three simple tips with you so you can have the most productive 2024. Here goes. Listen, I have been in the space of helping ambitious women in finance grow their business to six and seven figure month. And the idea of starting a new year with new ideas and new revenue goals, I want to help you reach those goals. So here are some things that you can do to soar your business in 2024. But before I do, make sure you click subscribe and the bell so you can get notification every time I come on here. And guess what? I love to go live here on YouTube. So make sure you click subscribe so you can know when I'm alive. Listen, over the years of growing a successful business, I feel like we get to this point right after Christmas where we're starting to make all these plans about um, what is our year is gonna look like? And we get excited and then with all the different moving parts, we get so bombarded with and overwhelmed with things. We don't wanna do it, right? You have this amazing plan in mind and you decide to execute on that plan and you have your vision board up and you're ready and you feel motivated and come January, you're like, okay, that was fun, <laughs> but it's not, I don't think I can do just that. So how do we get over that? How do we we make sure that we keep the momentum through 2024 so we can reach our goal. All right. So the first thing, number one, you have to make sure that you really look at my favorite thing to say, your capacity. What is your capacity level that you have, right? So if you decided that you're going to do two videos and post those videos on social media, what does that look like for you? What day are you going to do them? Do you have time to do them? What's the best time to do those videos? Because nothing is more cringing than saying you're going to do something and don't execute on it because you became overwhelmed. So number one, always look at the, your capacity level to execute the things that you have on those to-do lists that you decide to do. All right, number one. Number two, another thing you need to think about, what is the one way I will grow my business to new audience so new people can see me? Because at the end of the day, you must always figure out how to have more eyes on the product and service that you sell. You can't grow your business without an audience, right? So number two, you really have to ask yourself, what is the business model? One, not 10, not 20. What is the business model that I'm going to follow that allow me in my capacity to generate more leads to my ideal client? So that's number two. Number three, which is my favorite. Number three is now that I figure out a business model that works for me, my time, and my schedule, how will I navigate that? Number three, how would I navigate? What is the messaging that I need to transcribe? Or what is, how is the message around what I sell and how I sell it? How am I going to position my master in my communication to get my ideal client to know that this solution, I have for them is the best solution yet. How will I do that? I think people spend so much time worrying about how they can um, bark in and get clients. They're not clear on their message. Let's be clear. Your message is why people buy. Your subject line or the thing that you say about what your product can do is why people buy. People are not buying your product because they don't know how well your product is, but the message of what you said that your product I can do that's what they're buying. So let's recap really fast in this less than five minute video to get you ready for 2024. Number one, check your capacity level at the door. Right? Number two, what is the business, the one business model that you're going to plan to follow the whole entire year? Why is that important? Because you need the data from that business model to know, hey, does it work or does it not work? And number three, my favorite, what is the messaging that you're going to be mastering to communicate to your ideal client to say, yes, you're the option. Listen, if you need help with this, comment below.